Okay, so let's continue this. So now I'm going to be writing the code that's specific to updating colors. Okay, the first function is render favorite color picker. Okay, so this I want to call it here. So what it's going to do, it's going to go get this and take off this hidden attribute. Like that. Okay, so that's pretty cool. None of this really does anything yet. come back here function update color data so I want to be specific about what's happening here this gets called when So this function right here will get called every time one of these gets clicked on. But the actual colors will only change when you click update. For now what this will do is, let's say color data dot for each. Oops, I always do this with the for each. It's supposed to be like this. Okay, if if the name is equal to r dot data whoops no and this should take in a name data dot current color dot color is equal to dot color code data dot current color dot off color is equal to our data dot off color code and then data dot current color dot name is equal to our data dot name so I just want to be specific this data right here is this the current color and these our data's is are these. So it's going to loop through each one of these and check if the name that was passed into this function is equal to this name or this name or this name and whenever it is then it's going to take. So let's say it's equal to red. The name that's passed in is purple. Let, let's just say it's red. Let's say you, you 
where is it? You call this function and you put in purple here, and it's going to loop through all these color datas. And did I say purple again? I mean, you call this, you put in red, and then it'll say, okay, yeah, here the name's red. So then it's going to take all this red data and set the current color. It's going to set these, the color name, the color, and the off color to the name. So this color will become this, and this off color would become this. Okay, so let's see here. Let's, after this, so let's just do it outside that. Let's console.log data dot current color dot name. So this isn't being called right now, and that's because you want to call it where? Here. The post-it notes. Here. So you want to say on this, on click, call, what's it called? Update color? Update color data. So let's see what happens here. So it says blue. Nothing else is updating. That's fine. You want to put it on each one. And set it to whatever the ID is. So you see it's changing now. Okay, let's go do all of them. Orange. Baby blue. This one is this color. It's like a cherry color series. I don't really. I don't really know how to pronounce that. I think it's just series. Right. Okay. Teal. And then black. Oh, let's just so this is updating the color data. Okay, so that's it for this video. In the next video, we'll continue updating the colors.